So uh, getting into the next hero, which is one of those, if you're going to be using this hero for a while, heroes, uh, the Mini Mummy. Now, the Mini Mummy uh, is a tank. It has a lot of hit points. It, um, it has a, a decent amount of attack, nothing big. It's very similar to the other characters. As I said, not a lot of spiky damage when you're going up multiple heroes now, now when you're obtaining them. But the hero power is kind of interesting. Rays of light, basically, once you get 14 bounces, uh, kind of in a star-shaped formation, you get uh, this damage that emits from the center of the mummy and goes out in all directions. And then that damage will... Um, does, it's not a lot of damage, actually. It's just uh, it can hit multiple things. Um, one of the cool parts about him, though, is that... Uh, or one of the annoying parts is if you're really close to get that ability to come off... You don't. You probably won't be able to line up but one hero if you're farther away, or actually, sorry, the other way around. It's just really situational. That that you're you're not picking up and you're not using the mini mummy because of the hero ability. You're using the mini mummy because it has a massive amount of hit points, and a lot of the players in the later levels favor the characters with a lot more hit points. The secondary hero ability is decreases enemy combo counter when she deals damage, and that's awesome. So, Coop, go ahead. Tell me what you think. Uh, I have not yet faced or unlocked myself um, the the hero ability for the mini mummy yet. Um, I'm but, working towards it. Uh, yeah, I would actually like to have that very soon because I, I, as much as you're saying like it's one of those characters you use a lot, I I don't use it personally. I don't like the mini mummy. I think the health points are are nice, but the hero power, in my opinion, is garbage. I hate it so much. It is really really low damage and the mummy itself is low damage so i often ended up while well, using it in a frustrating situation where my other two heroes would die and all i would have left left is the mini mummy and i would feel almost useless like it would be a lot of rounds because he's so tanky he doesn't yeah. die quick but he's not putting out the damage either um that said i think that hero ability is a huge very very redeeming quality um i think you told me that it it actually can prevent somebody who has a hero yeah, a hero power already available if you hit them with that they lose the ability to use their hero power because it reduces their bounce count yeah i believe that's the case so if that, that's i mean that being the case that is insanely potent because you could effectively prevent someone from ever getting a hero ability off in theory um, and I, that's that's insane. That's really powerful. Yeah, uh, I haven't joke. played with that myself, so I, I can't say for sure. But um, to me, that that is what will make that character. I don't like Rays of Light, the, the hero power. It's like you said. It's a very single player. Like if you're in the campaign, Rays of Light is amazing because right. you you hit tons of different monsters. But in multiplayer, when you only have three given targets, well, three you. Yeah. Useful targets. I mean, exactly. sometimes with him, I actually did get um, some pretty nice breaks on things like the uh, chests or whatever the the power ups. Basically, that's very true. Yeah, and those do those have saved matches for me numerous times. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So if you can you line that up and hit a hero or two plus a, a box and get a heal off or extra combo points, I mean, it it can be, but it's it's just very situational and a lot of times, especially. And this is the situation that came up most for me, was that he would be my last man standing, and that would it would actually feel like a bad thing for me to get bounces up and and unlock his hero ability, because if it's one v one, that ability is almost useless unless there's a, yeah. a hit or something. So I feel like it's just one, it's one hit. That's, it, that's exactly. What I feel. You yeah. can't bounce. You can't get the rebound bounces. No, I mean, like, the damage of it is probably just one bounce worth. Right, exactly. But the fact that you have to use it then is forcing you to only get one hit for that turn, which feels yeah. almost like a bad thing if it's 1v1. No, I, actually, it's a really good point, and it totally does. Like, you know, when you're fighting, you're like, ah, oh, God, hero ability. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there's a chest or something like that because it's going to be far more effective on a, a barrel or something. Exactly. The one advantage, though, I will say, and I mean, I guess this is an advantage to most of the hero abilities, um, is is that it can go 
over or past objects and, and monsters that That's have true. to be on the map. So sometimes I have been in an awkward corner where I'm kind of blocked in and don't have a good shot, but I can, you know, shoot past objects. That's It's niche, though. It's very niche. Anyways, what's your take? So, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I, I have to agree with a lot of the points that you made. You know, one, the one thing that's stunning and that you're not really um, taking into account is he has a magnifying glass that has, um, you know, glass on, it's just a magnifying glass, yet he can use it to create five different beams of light in different directions. That's, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, okay? that's, how does that even work? I, it doesn't, but he, the minimum he can make it happen. So there's, there's, that's worth consideration. But no, I mean, your points, the, the, the ray of light is a very, very good point. And, you know, evaluating it now, it's like, you know, if that ray of light comes up with a chest and there's a chest there, you get the chest. You don't even attack them. You get the chest. Because those chests, I mean, sometimes those hearts are absolutely, they keep you alive for multiple turns. Um, so that would be really good for him rather than attacking the player. And if he can do both, that's great. But he really kind of shines in the single player campaign because he can just obliterate so many different things at once. Like the, there's that one level that has like 12 spiders and, you know, Use the the mini mummy on that cleans it out really well. So right, shines. You said he shines. I like that. That's clever. Walk, walk. All right. So going to the next one, another one of those heroes that you will not, at least I feel that you will not get rid of anytime soon is Ello, the uh, little tooth fairy looking girl. Anyway, she is a heart thief, twelve bounces, and she has one of the most dynamic moves. She throws uh, a puddle underneath uh, a player or three players, or whatever, or monsters, and it will steal hearts from them. It'll steal, uh, let's say, there's one character there, three hearts will come out going to each one of our teammates, up to three, down to one, if there's only one alive. And um, basically, she just steals their hearts. Uh, and the secondary ability is recovers friendly hero hit points when she touches them. So I guess when you bounce into your hero buddies, they actually recover hit points. I don't have that yet. I'm not sure how much hit points you get from that, but uh, she is a she's also a pretty tanky character. She's got a lot of hit points right out of the bat or right out of the box, and uh, same exact low number of damage as a lot of the other characters we've seen so far, save the Wiz Grump. So, what's your take? She is ugh, a game changer for everything. I mean, it's it completely changes the the speed of your matches. Well, hold on. She might not actually be that powerful for the single player campaign. I haven't I don't think I've ever used her for that. I don't think you would ever want to use her for that. Maybe No, she's a... great. I mean, when you have an ability that can save your life and do damage to a massive area of monsters, mm. yeah, that's awesome. Like fair enough. Can't... I guess yeah. the parts of the campaign I've played which is admittedly small in scope, uh relative to what you have, monsters aren't really a threat. Like, dying isn't a thing in the single-player campaign that I've played. So, yeah, it'll get there. Okay. Fair <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. But uh, the, the Heart Thief is really, really insane for, for the multiplayer stuff. It, I mean, it changes your matches completely from... Um, I mean, the, the matches that take a long time initially are the ones where they have tanky characters, like the Mini-Mummy. But once you unlock Ello, she's both tanky, so extending the match length that way. And she's also putting out a lot of healing for the entire group, so it can extend the match length quite a bit. Um, and also, it's it's just an all-around game changer when you pull off a clutch heal and heal your whole, whole team back up. And it's... I think it's the most interesting ability in the game by far as well. Like you said, I haven't uh, unlocked the hero ability that recovers uh, hit points when she bounces off friendly heroes. I could see that being really strong or pretty underwhelming it really just depends how much it heals for yeah so uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one i guess but yeah she is in my opinion the only other character that would be close to how powerful she is is whiz grump and even then it's it's apples to oranges they're very different characters right you know so my take on her i mean she she effectively puts up four group heals so once she gains her ability, she heals everybody just upon gaining her ability. And then she tosses it down, and theoretically, if you have three people or three bad guys in that group for the duration of the spell, she will heal them three more times. So she can effectively, and keep in mind, like it's not a percentage-based heal. It is a static amount, so your mini-mummy from death can't go up to full life. 
but somebody like you know your boom barrel guy, whatever Buster, he uh, he will go to full life on a on a bunch of heels. So it's uh, it's pretty impressive. She she definitely can stick it out for a while. And uh, probably the coolest match that I had was the worst. I was number five at the time, and there was a number one guy. And the match lasted for like six minutes. Like we both had our mummies out. We didn't care. But it came down to the fairy, uh, Ello, and we were just basically thwarting each other's efforts. And like we had to knock each other. Because you can, if, let's say, um, uh, you put the hearts down or the, the little puddle, the heart thief puddle. Uh, under a character, you can knock your friendly characters out of that, and you'll and you will have to at times to save their lives and keep the life away from her and their teammates. But I found that there are bugs with that, like uh, you can actually knock everybody out of it, and somehow the hearts are still awarded to the other team. I've seen that happen multiple times, um, so that'll be fixed, I'm sure. But um, one of the best strategies I found with Lo is on, you know, any one of the characters save Wizgrump because of his shield. I think I, I think it still negates the healing, or maybe not, I don't know. But um, is to gain her ability and then use another character. And then you wait for a character, like an opponent's character, to get their special ability. So let's say you have the mummy. Uh, the, the mummy, you're fighting the mummy, and eventually he gains his ray of light. You then take Elo and cast the spell underneath the mummy. And then the mummy, you know, you'll get your initial heal off of the casting of the spell. Then the mummy will have to act, but his special ability does not allow him to move. So then he uses a special ability, and then you get another heart. And then it's your turn, and you do anything, and then you get another heart. He, the mummy can't move the entire time. And that works for the most, the most of the heroes, for the most part. Um, Captain Smash will jump away, uh, but I don't think he can jump that far out of the way. But it's really effective. You will get your three hearts at least on one character. Um, but obviously, uh, if you're, and I've done this numerous times, if you're fighting a match and it gets down to one on one, you know, your, your heals are effectively diminished because you don't have as many people to work off of. But you can cast it on monsters just the same. It'll probably kill the monsters in one or two shots, but you can still take three monsters, cast it on them, and get at least a few hearts there. And that has saved my life numerous times. So, uh, Moving on, Buster. Buster is a TNT thing with a mustache. I don't know why he has a mustache. doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, he has a decent amount of hit points. He's not extremely tanky, but he has a bit. Uh, a, a bit. Uh, his attack is a little heavier than the other characters. But you do get him at level 18, so theoretically he should have at least some attack. Uh, his hero power, you get it in six bounces, which is nothing. It's called Boom, and what it does is you can basically... It's the only ability so far that we've seen that you can actually use your hero power and balance at the same time. So you basically slingshot yourself in a given direction like you normally do with any hero, and it will line up a little red uh, area, and that's where the TNT will drop. And then uh, once the TNT drops, you can still keep bouncing, and you can't actually knock the TNT away, which is kind of silly... I think that he is underwhelming, and I think you shouldn't be able to knock the TNT away personally. But he bounces around. He the one saving grace about the guy is he is insanely fast. Like he will get twice as many bounces off as some of your characters. He is fast, fast, fast. So he's one of those things that he will get his like. It w- I would be very surprised if he didn't get his special ability on the very first move of the match. Um, it's just very limited usefulness. It would be. I think you could make him a lot better if his special ability would stick and you couldn't bounce uh, bounce a TNT away from your initial target. His secondary ability is uh, when defeated, he drops an explosive TNT to the play field. And I assume it's the exact same thing as his special ability, but I really question the usefulness of that because the TNT itself doesn't have a heavy range. And generally when somebody's killed you, they've already bounced away from you. So, yeah. right. Go ahead, man. Uh, I, I, I mean, this is about as far as I've gotten in the game. I have him available to unlock, uh, but I haven't even added him to my team yet. Um, yeah. He's, I mean, on paper, I think I've played him once, and um, I actually killed him before he did a move uh, because he's kind of squishy and Wiz Grump yeah. is amazing. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't actually even really know what he does. I 
from what you've told me about his uh, hero power, it sounds like it could have potential, but it sounds a little underwhelming. And it feels underwhelming. Like I, because up until the point where you get him, every hero you're getting, like you know, you get you get the mummy is pretty hefty, or like Captain Smash, you get a cannon that's pretty cool. Mummy is pretty hefty. It's a tank. It's new. You don't have any tanks like that. Elo, it's a tank with healing hit point steel, and then you get this dude who goes fast. Right. What's up with that, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, his his hero ability, uh, I assume, it says it unlocks at level 5. I have to assume you have to be quite high level to unlock that. And a, a suicide bomb move, a kamikaze, doesn't sound... Well, practical. not only that, but, I mean, to upgrade him to level 2 is 50,000 gold, 48,000. Yeah. So to get to level five, you're spending a good like two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand. Right. Eh, eh, you know. Yeah, just to see what it does. I, I mean, it's really going to depend on the the radius and the damage. I guess is more than anything. If it and the radius isn't big at all. It's not. Well, you're you're still assuming that it is the same as his his team. I am. Yes, very true. If it's not, which it might not be. Uh, then I mean, if it it could be good, but it's entirely radius and, and damage, and I really couldn't speculate. But yeah, I think that the way they need to improve on this character because he does need improvements because you feel like you've achieved something by getting him, and then you don't feel like you achieved him. But I can guarantee that not a lot. Of, I well, maybe not guarantee, but I would assume that not a lot of people level him up heavily. Um, but <clears throat> nonetheless, six bounces for a thing, and then you can knock it away from initial target, and that happens. Most of the time that I found. Uh, so, yeah, not, not really all that interesting.